Hey everybody, I'm Toby with Photorec.tv and I want to share with you a quick tip. These are my Monday Minute videos that share with you quick tips. I want to show you how to remove a little but big annoyance in Lightroom. Before we jump in, I'm just going to remind you, you can find hours long training on Lightroom completely free at photorec.tv slash Lightroom. All right. So here's the scenario. You're in Lightroom. You're in your library module. You got a little grid of pictures up. You're looking at some of your favorite ones. You're really excited and you go to double click or click to see one of these images larger and suddenly you're looking at a map. Wait a second. Do you wanted to see your elephant in large, big, not, not the map. What, what happened here? And I get these emails a couple times a month asking different Lightroom questions. And this one comes in often enough that I know I'm not the only one to have experienced this frustration. These little badges right here in the grid view are actually clickable. And if you're not paying attention when you go to click on the image and you accidentally click on the badge, you might find yourself in a completely different spot than you wanted. Here I am all of a sudden in the crop tool because I clicked on the crop badge. The badge that brought up the map, of course, was the little pin that let you know that you were in the map. Now, let me show you how to fix this. It's quite easy. Lightroom preferences. Once you're in the preferences panel, you want to move over to the interface. It's right in the middle of all of your tabs across the top. And right here, you want to make sure that you have ignore clicks on badges. Make sure there is a check mark in ignore clicks on badges. And now when you click those badges, nothing should happen. Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. While we're in here, let me show you a couple other things real quick that you can do. Well, one, you can further customize these end panels. I showed you that in the previous video the other day. I'll link to that along with all of my other Monday minutes right down below but you can have a small flourish. What's a flourish, you ask? It's this little flourish right down here. Uh, I just have those off, nice, clean. You can have a larger or smaller font if you want there on these panels. And then lights out, screen color. You have a choice from black to white. I'll show you how to get into that in just a minute. And the dim level of 80% by default. Down here though, main color, fill color, I do like medium gray most of the time. We're talking about this color right here on either side of your image when you're in the library or the develop modules. If you've got a second monitor plugged in, you can have a different color surrounding your images. Well, why, so what's important about this color? Well, it really lets you, let's say you're doing a nice black and white image and you really want to tell whether or not you have your whites nailed or they're kind of a dingy gray. Like I've got room here. I'd love to see these a little bit brighter. And, con and consequently, and the reverse going to black allows you to really kind of judge your black points and see, have you nailed those as nicely as you should? Most of the time, medium gray is a great place, but I certainly tend to go to the white from time to time just to make sure I'm checking and balancing those colors. Now let's close this and talk a little bit about the lights out mode. You hit the L key on the keyboard to enter into lights out mode. First time brings you into this darker screen. 80% was the setting we had there. If we hit it again though, we go to this full blacked out interface. All you see is your image itself. And this could be a nice distraction free way to sit back for a few moments. Look at this image, squint your eye, see what catches your eye when you're squinting. Those are things that usually need to be dealt with. And when you're ready to go back to the normal interface, you can hit L again. And when you are in lights out mode, you are able to move through your images. A right click will take you through these different images and allow you to see these in this kind of distraction free way. And again, I'm hitting L one more time so that we can just kind of go through and see all of those and L again to escape out of that blacked out view. I hope you found this helpful. As always, I love sharing these quick tips with you. If you've got suggestions for future ones, Lightroom, Photoshop, or photography related, you can leave those in the comments right down below. And if you haven't hit that thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate that. It's a quick way to let other people know that this video is worth their time and 
hit that subscribe plus the little bell so you will be notified of future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.